this segment of Alex College Algebra, we will be looking at the translation of a graph of a function that has one step. And so, what we're going to do here is to uh, quickly look at our notes as we've done before. And I call your attention here to this set of notes, which you should be able to print out. And this is the beginning of a very, very large section of things called translations of the plane or transformations of graphs. And basically, what you can do is to know a certain number of basic graph shapes, and then you can move those graphs around. You can slide those graphs all over the place. You can reflect them. You can flip them, stretch them, do all kinds of different things with them. And so what we'll do is start out with one very simple type. In fact, the one that we're going to look at right now, back in Alex here, is to take a function, g of x, and then subtract from that a constant. Now, once again, this g of x function can be anything. It can be any of the functions. Now, in the case of the one that we're looking at here on my basic uh, list of graphs, we can identify this as some type of a cubic graph, but we don't care. That's really not important. The idea here is that we can take this graph and we can move it around. Now, in this case, we need to learn that when you have a number here that is subtracted, that's going to translate the graph downward by five squares. It's not going to just move one point of the graph. It's going to move every point of the graph. And so it's almost as if we can simply pick up that entire graph and just move it down. In fact, we'll move it down five squares. Okay, so we'll simply pick this point up and we'll drag it down five squares. In fact, not only that point, but every point on the graph. Now, they've given us kind of one point here to work with, and uh, we often do that. We have one key point that we keep our eye on, and we move that point, but in fact, we move everything else with it. So we have moved this graph down five. So when you have a negative, a, a g of x, a function with a negative five here, that means you're going to move it down five. I bet you could guess here that if that was a plus five, you would move it up. Okay, so we will have that. Uh, let's check it. Notice that we're good here. Let's do another one. Let's do another one of those. Okay, and I see in this now they've introduced another one of these translations. At this point, uh, we might want to go back here and look at our notes for these, and I think what we'll want to do then is to concentrate on this section in here, the slides or translations. And let's kind of look at this. So when you have a particular function with an added constant, some number, that's going to slide the entire graph up how many ever squares that is. So if that c is positive 5, you'd slide it up 5. If that was a negative 5, then you would slide it down that number. Now, the one that we're dealing with right now is one of these two types. Let's go back and look at this now. Notice here that we have the function of the quantity x plus 3. We started out with this function, and that's what they're giving us. The basic blue line is the original function, which is some type of parabola, but we don't care. Whatever it is, we're going to move this graph. Now, this one here is going to be one of these side-to-side -side moves. Once again, you might want to look carefully at your notes here, and notice that this one is the plus kind. Now, this is a little bit counterintuitive here. The slide is going to move the graph to the left. So when you have a plus sign inside these parentheses here, it's going to cause this graph to slide to the left. So let's go back to our graph. Notice that that's an x plus 3 inside. That's going to pick up our point and slide it to the left. So we grab this point here, hold our mouse button down, and slide the whole graph 3 to the left. Let's count it. 1, there's 2, and there's 3. So our whole graph slides over to the left, and let's check it. Now, in these particular problems, there's likely to be four different kinds. Probably moves to the left, moves to the right, moves up, and moves down. But they're just going to do a single one of those. And so I imagine if you keep practicing this, you will see all of those. This is translating a graph with one step in Alex Collick's Algebra.